Welcome back to What's in Store. Once again, we're coming to you from Kramer Funeral Homes. As a matter of fact, today we're in their newly renovated sunroom, continuing our visit with Graham uh, Kramer. Um, you know, yesterday as we were ending the segment, you started to talk about some of the ways that funerals have changed over the years. So let's, let's continue that discussion. Well, first of all, when I started working at our funeral home 50 years ago, which is hard to believe, my father would never have appeared on television or radio to talk about a funeral. Mm -hmm. That's one thing how, how death and funerals have changed. That is taboo. And that's right. And uh, death was something, and a funeral was something that you had to go through. Mm -hmm. It wasn't something that was in any way imaginative or reflective of the person's life. Uh, thank goodness things have changed with time. And uh, the funeral is more of a celebration of life. When, when a death occurs, a family grieves. And so do friends and relatives, co-workers, to a lesser degree, but they still grieve. And the funeral allows them an opportunity through a visitation, a reception at the funeral home, or at a church, to uh, have a time to share that life so that that, I, that we can get rid of some of that grief. We never get rid of it all, but it's somehow depleted by sharing it. And so that's the real value of the funeral and the, the ceremonies that go along with that. Now, one of the main people involved in the funeral is the funeral director. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about their role. My role as a funeral director is to coordinate all of the uh, activities surrounding a funeral or a memorial service. Uh, we contact the minister, the cemetery, the flower shops, the newspaper. We do all of the, the work to keep someone from having to run all across town doing a whole bunch of things when they have to look after their families. So we're basically a coordinator and a facilitator and we try to work with the clergy to create a service that's meaningful. Have family members or friends participate in readings and songs and, and things of that nature that comprise the service itself. And, and the funeral director's role and the funeral home's role really isn't over at the end of the funeral. There are some activities that go in post-funeral as well. Oh, absolutely. We, we keep in contact with the families we serve so that if, if they have a question uh, about something relative to the death, uh, we can help them through that. Well, thanks for joining us today. That wraps up today's segment of Woodson's Store Kramer Funeral Home.